G'day mate, and welcome back to Cosmeteer with me, Jitty. In our last episode, um, we popped across to a new system, a new system, a new dangerous system. And in our new dangerous system, um, we started getting a bit more fame, a bit more fame for a bit more crew, and as we can see, um, even though the station is very right there, it is a very dangerous system. It's a very dangerous system because that is a pirate hunter coming over to say hi to us and the station. Um, Yes, so the Trucket Cruiser and the Gravitron have already started, and, um, what are you armed with? Uh, beam weapons. Awesome. And that's a nuke. Oh. That's also a nuke. Uh, okay. First off, Flak. Uh, secondly, you guys definitely target at anything you can hit. Uh, and Flak. Flak. Oh, no Flak. Uh, I think I just got two nukes in the front. I'm going by those wonderful effects at 1.8 speed. Yeah, I copped a nuke in the front. Didn't do a lot of damage, which is good, but, uh... You now need to die. Yes, uh, tractor beams are on go mode. Yep, they'll hit anything they can see as soon as they can see it. Uh, the cruiser is... Not reloading. Where's all the crew? Half of them are manning the guns, and the other half are moving crap around. Good on you. Uh, look, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're dead. You may not just know it yet. Uh, did I? No, I'm just copying laser fire. A lot of laser fire. Uh, yeah, I, I'd like seeing inside the ship, please. Inside the ship, please. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is well done. I just need to actually get. Oh, oh, oh. That 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 you got taken out. That take. Uh, yeah, I got taken out. Ooh, okie dokie. Uh, that's actually not too bad. 400 steel repair cost for at least two nukes in the face. Okay, all right. Uh, like I said, we popped across to a new station. New station, new system. Uh, and we got some upgrades happening. Uh, can I have you mine everything but steel? Cool. And you can pop right over here and you can mine everything else. Uh, New system, new system, and new dangerous system. And today's episode, I, I, I want to go out and I want to combat test both both ships properly. We did get some combat testing done. Um, we did get some rudimentary checks done, but I want to give it a more thorough test, a much more thorough test uh, today. Also, now we're in a new system. There is, uh, God, you're giant. You're almost the size of a station. Um, there is a chance, a very real chance that. Just shove it out of the way. Alright, uh, you. X, X, move there. Is X, isn't it? Yes, okay. Just move there. Just move there through everything. Yeah, yep, yeah, just shove the Garbatron out of the way. Garbatron out of the way. It's fine. It's fine. It's all about the thrust. Okay, uh, today, today, uh, I'm hoping to get a bit more crew. If I can get a bit more, bit more crew, I'd like to go from a pair of ships to three, and three makes a fleet, right? 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 At least that's as I understand it. Uh, at the same time, uh, the Gravitron has had a t couple of minor upgrades. I've rearranged the deck, uh, the, the crew quarters a little bit, because, well, we're at 193 of 194 crew, so I didn't really see the benefit in having any extra. We're, 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 we're running fine at 193. I didn't need the room for the extra, I don't know, 30 odd crew we could take. Uh, also means I want to transfer one, no, 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 I'm not going to transfer that. Uh, that's in pieces. We're going to transfer one crew from the cruiser over to the Gravitron. Uh, and are you finished grabbing? No, you haven't finished grabbing. I want to find out where your one crew is on EVA. Hello. Aha. No. That one, that one. You, 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 you are today's victim. Uh, sorry, I meant uh, today's a wonderful YouTube member. Uh, you're going to be Mr. Happy Fox. Mr. Happy Fox that we need to thank for being a wonderful YouTube member. Uh, joining the ship, being a wonderful red shirt, and, um, well, hopefully surviving uh, the series. Uh, yes, they're a wonderful YouTube member. They've clicked the like button, they've clicked the subscribe button. And can I put you in a blue room? Cool. You're not favorited. Uh, can I can I bring you back up? Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, favorite. There we go. Uh, yes, wonderful YouTube member. Uh, they've clicked the like button. They've clicked the subscribe button. How dare you? 
Go, be a blue shirt. Uh, click the like button, click the subscribe button, and also click the join button, which means we don't run any mid-roll ads during these Let's Plays. So um, thank you again, Happy Fox, for being a wonderful YouTube member. All right, Grabatron is going to grab whatever it can. Uh, the Cruiser is going to grab whatever it can at the same time. I need to chat to the station. Because in the station, well, first off, we can get more crew. And that's the whole reason we're here. More fame, more crew. It means the next one's at 1300, which is okay. We can probably get that. We also need to accept a bounty or two uh, and also uh, explore this area. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to preemptively... No, no, we won't even do, do things preemptively. Uh, we're just going to grab the loot, grab the crew and get the hell out of here, I think. Yeah, grab everything grab everything um up oh, one other thing i should mention is um the truck it cruiser yep it got bigger um it is a whole another section longer now um in fact if we bring up the um i don't know the, the building grid we can see we've almost reached the front of the grid and we've almost reached the back of the grid i actually had to reset of the ship which then shifts everything around really bad idea shouldn't do it but um there is an option in here i believe uh reset of blueprints yeah um just in case you happen to also build a ship that's far too big. Did you forget to pick up all this? Oh, no. No, I changed an op. Whoa, hi. I changed an option. I went to the options and I found an option because now I can set, in theory, the Grabatron to mine things and it will break them down. And then the truck at one can then pick it them up or something along those lines. We're, we're, I need to experiment with this setting to see if it actually works. All right. So... Our plan is to pick an orientation. That'll be the orientation. We'll, we'll start at the bottom left. Uh, we have a bounty, a renegade pack, a renegade pack, a bounty, a bounty, a bounty, a clear asteroid field, a bounty, a pirate base. No, unknown signal, an unknown signal. And let's not start with a pirate base because, you know, just on the off chance. And uh, you don't have a any other system unlocks just yet all right our plan is going to be quite a simple one we're going to take the cruiser uh with the rockets facing towards the friends and we're going to go find trouble um and then we're going to throw rockets in their face oh 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 that was the other thing i want to do uh you i'm going to swap Ooh. nope uh, cancel movement i want to swap man we've got time i want to swap this out for nuclear weapons because what's better than nuclear weapons? Uh, also want to swap this out for nuclear weapons. Now, funnily enough, when you swap them out, uh, whatever ammo they have, they just throw overboard, which is a little bit unfortunate. The Gravitron, um, I actually want to do the exact same, except not nuclear, EMP rockets. Now, the reason I want to go EMP rockets on this ship is uh, it comes down to range. Uh, so only way to check range is actually come to the building factories and hold down the alt button. But uh, the high explosive missile factory fires a rocket. Hang on. Let's try and get it all on screen. Fires a rocket. Uh, 1,500 damage per shot. It's a lot of damage. Um, it has a range of 450 meters and a firing arc of 360 degrees. So we can shoot anything on any side of the ship just by firing rockets at it and it'll just hit them um, as long as they're within 450 meters. The EMP rocket also has a firing arc of 360 degrees, only does 300 damage, but it's designed to take out electrical components, but it has a range of 600 meters. So it's definitely going to piss off people in advance, hopefully bring them towards the Gravitron, who still has a speed issue. Finally, we have nukes. Now, nukes are slightly different. Um, they have a range of 250 meters, so very close range. Also a firing arc of just 200 degrees. So if it's on the far side of the cruiser, we can't shoot at it with nukes. But apart from that, sure, nukes, um, because we have, have uh, 252 nuclear parts on the ship ready to go. So, um, yes, our plan... Oh, oh, oh. Cancel. Go grab those rockets. Go grab those rockets. Our plan is going to be grab our rocket parts. Uh, everybody on board? Everybody on board? It went ding, ding. I don't know where, where the ding... Oh... You have a sensor ray which is currently turned off. Can we just turn that on? Come on. Okay. Yes, we're just going to keep that sensor ray on for the moment. Uh, you're not on a hot shortcut bar. 
Uh, shortcut number. That's fine. All right, Gravitron shall catch up, and our plan is going to be a simple one. All we're going to do is um, try and get close enough that we can broadside whatever this is, and then send the Gravitron in for the kill. And just keep the cruiser around for, you know, cruising. Uh, oh, and you, we're going to set this one to aim, and this one to aim. I'll leave the rest of the rockets on auto fire because we have plenty of ammo, but I think I want to aim the EMPs. Uh, can I? Something like that. Something like that. Okay, you are a rail cannon. Perfect. All right. Rail cannons I don't like. Uh, they are potentially a weakness for our... Uh, Oh, Gravitron. Um, so, what I want to do when it comes to Railgun is I want to uh, change the flight direction to be it thinking that is forward. Uh, no, think that way is forward because that's the direction we're coming from. Uh, and then I'm going to charge at you. I'm also going to select my rockets and I want to target this. I want to take out that EMP. Being whilst uh, number one, uh, the cruiser, we're just going to move beside and I want to target uh, the front nose of the railguns because um, once they go, they go. They go boom. They go boom real good and proper. Can you move to that? Okay, rail cannon shot. Uh, ouch. Ouch. You don't have a lot of hit points left already and i don't think it did any damage down here no no uh you guys on auto fire but realistically i want you to fire at that then that then that if at all possible and yes we just need to close this range i need you <sighs> to move to there to there Good, you got it? Okay, great. Uh, and I just need to really, really close this range. I need to, well, hopefully use the EMP to knock out the shields. Yep. And then fire many rockets at your ass and take a second shell. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, we are done attacking in that direction. Uh, we're now going face on and in your face, in your face. Um, get full in your face mode now we have flak uh so we should be able to take care of most things um except you're firing lasers which flak doesn't help with we are going to take a brunt on this side as you get spun around uh actually that is an option so what we can do is we can set you to push and pick up uh, push pick a target and hold down control and say that side and you have you pull and pick a target and have you pick this side in hoping that I can spin out their ship. Okay, well that hurt. And whatever we're shooting at on that side just disappeared. Uh, can I pick something else that doesn't disappear, maybe? Uh, that part. Uh, I think the other side disappeared as well. Uh, yeah, pick the engine block. Uh, never mind, it disappeared. Uh, okay, just, just, there's an asteroid coming at me. Um, the tractor beam missed and clipped an asteroid. Alright, that's fine. We're just going to pull it in super close, super personal. Uh, cannons, shoot for that. Flax just laying into the shields and everything else. Rockets are flying everywhere. Uh, you are useless. Cool. Confirmed. And you are done. Alright. Uh, repair bill. Repair bill is mostly steel. Like, we did we did lose whatever was in this container which is unfortunate maybe it's full of ammo i honestly don't know most of the ammo is centralized here but railguns railguns are a big weakness okay as we can see we took obviously a railgun shot through here yep didn't do a lot of damage but did do some damage um railguns are a weakness they're a known weakness but they are a weakness okay so you should be doing everything but steel and in theory if i do that you do not try and break up the hull. Okay, that's unfortunate. And you... Uh, I guess we're just going to aim towards this stuff. And you will mine everything. 
Our Astro's got nothing on it. So we're just going to mine up the wreck, you know, throw it back in the cruiser, uh, which is down to just 12,000 steel. Just, yeah. Uh, also, we're not actually processing the iron that's on the ship. Um, we're saving that, turning into ammo. A lot of ammo. Yep. Yeah. Uh, can I go back here and pick up whatever I lost? Um, really? Okay. You're another pirate. Can we just clean that up? And that. Ah, uh, it's far enough away. Right? Actually, it looks like it's in a fight. Uh, we might just mark this and call everybody home and rotate the ship. And yeah, it's definitely in a fight. Uh, can we go and... Oh, that's the rocket one. Holy shit. A flaming spire. Yes, many... Well, actually, not that many prisms are uh, firing straight ahead. We will get a prism ship. We will get a railgun ship. Uh, just not quite yet. I want to... I want to do a few more things first, uh, mainly to do with cannons. Uh, can we... Come on. Crew on board. Hello. Turn. Shoot. Shoot. Turn. Uh, rockets should auto-fire, except for the ones that should go through shields. Uh... Preferably over here, out of the... Uh, it's gonna be dead. Uh, don't sit in front of the laser. Yeah, let me just shoot. Yeah, that. Cool. Alright, that solves that problem. Uh, I guess one will clean up this whilst the other one finishes cleaning up this. Yeah, there's, there's a little bit. All right, uh, look, uh, I'll see you guys in a sec, or somebody else will attack us whilst we're not looking, and uh, we're, just, we're just trying to clean up as we go, we're trying to keep space a safe and clean environment. Okay, with at least one bounty done, um, I want to just very quickly just hand in my bounty, because that means I can get more crew. Okay, 22 crew to be exact, which is good, because I want to build a little ship. I want to build a little baby ship. I want to build a new little ship. Um, something, something simple. Something not too complicated. Uh, something that's fairly light on crew. Okay. We're going to need some bare basics to make a ship work. Um, obviously, we're going to need a bunk. Uh, we're going to need a cockpit. Uh, we're going to need power. Uh, also going to need engines. That would be the bare basics. Probably also something to shoot with. But, you know, in all fairness, the, 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 the missile carrier started off with just, well, this. It didn't actually start with weapons. Uh, but there's also something else I want to play with, and that is the boost thruster. We haven't unlocked the boost thruster yet. Uh, not that we haven't had the funds. I just didn't want to play with it yet. It's time to unlock a boost thruster because we're going to have a little boosty ship. We're going to have a super, super tiny... Uh, very, very tiny ship uh, that is all about speed. All about speed and performance. And, um, well, not a lot else. It's mainly there to harass people, um, especially if I have to deal with more rail guns. Um, so its plan is going to be zappy zappy. Zappy zappy. It's going to be a zappy zappy ship, uh, which means we're probably going to want some shields. Uh, also, these are going to need power. Um, I'm going to intentionally put in capacitors, because although you make 4.5 power per second, uh, boost thrusters. Boost thrusters. Actually, uh, large thruster. Uh, whoop, 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 large thruster. Large thruster does uh, 3.2 kilonewtons uh, with a ramp-up time of 2 seconds and a power use of 0 0.02 for 100% thrust. Okay? Nice, simple, weight, 5 tons. Weight, 5 tons, 5,000 hit, uh, 4,000 hit point, blah, 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 blah. Okay? A boost thruster has uh, the same 32,000 kilonewtons, uh, same ramp up time of two seconds, uh, power usage of two per second. You know, everything is exactly the same, except it also has that boost mode. With boost mode on, um, it burns power. Absolutely burns power at 0.6 per second for 100% thrust, and then 0.3 per second for continuous boosting. Uh, and it cranks out a whopping 9,600 kilonewtons which is um, a little bit more than a large thruster. 
Uh, the catch is uh, that 0.6 power per second is a lot of power. Uh, and we're going to make things worse by I want to have a fast little ship. Uh, can I put mirror mode on? Uh, I want to have a fast little ship. I want to have a fast little ship, a speedy little ship. So I'm going to have two of those. I'm also going to throw a large thruster up uh, here. Here, here, here. I've done something wrong already. Ah, uh, here. I have a picture in my mind and I'm trying to... No, it should be fine. It should be fine. Ah, uh, that's not centered. That's not centered. That's the issue. Uh, can I move that to... Oh. Center line, please. Cool. Thank you. All right. Uh, you are centered. You are not centered. Which means you are not centered. Which means you're not centered. There we go. All right. Uh, so we're going to have a little speedy ship. It's going to have some reverse thrust. It's going to have some boost thrust. It can go forward really quickly. It can stop reasonably quickly and it can strafe real good to add to that we're gonna need some crew um i figure bunks uh we're gonna put them here uh they're gonna be in charge of actually can i just throw in some corridors uh, uh mirror mode off uh throw in some corridors like so just so we have a bare basics of an outline okay i'm gonna need some crew i'm, I'm gonna aim for about 20 crew but first step is just four four in there uh on top of that i'm gonna need one more crew so we're gonna go for a full six bunk uh that's gonna bring us up to 10 uh over here that direction yes we're gonna put up oh, mirror mode back on we're gonna put another two there that's 14 crew um you know what 18 crew, 18 crew, 18 crew, 18 crew will do us. Uh, it does mean I need to put a corridor in here so you guys can get around the corner. Okay, uh, that's our bare basics of our ship. Now, we do have to do a whole bunch of things like put in the right amount of doors. Um, I'm also going to need a airlock. Mirror remote off. Uh, let's go with an airlock here. And then I can put a fire extinguisher here and here. Yes, okay. Uh, we're also going to want to be able to warp because the fleet is going to end up moving between systems. So I'm going to put a little warp drive there. 88% uh, efficiency. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Now, I am going to need some other basics. Um, well, hang on. Let, let's work on doors first. Uh, doors wise, I <laughs> need a door in here. I need a door to get into the crew quarters. I do not need that door there. We need a door to go into uh, the capacitor plus into both the shields and also the zappy zaps. Uh, don't need a door from the zappy zaps to the shield. You need a door to get in here. You need a door to get in here. You need a door to get power. You do Put my door back, please. You get yeah, door, door to get in and out of power to thruster, power to thruster. Uh, you're going to need double doors just so you have better access. You need a door, you need a door, you need a door. I think we're all doored up. Okay. Can do a couple of things to optimize it. Uh, we can have a belt to go that way and a belt to go that way. Just so they can get a little bit more distance. Because don't forget, these guys chew power. Uh, 0.6 per second. The reactor only does... 4.5 per second total. Uh, so that's 0 0.6, 1 1.2, 2.4, plus the cockpit being another one. That's what, 3.4. And then the laser blast is uh, 0 0.89. So we're up to what, 3.4, 3.5 call it 3.5 for, for round figures. And then we're adding another 1.6 to it with two blasters. Uh, we're up to like six power per, per second. Forgetting the fact that we might need a break. Um, so that that's going to be our ship. That's going to be our very, very little deadly ship. Except it is basically a flying bomb. Yeah. Um, if I take this out of the station currently, it would just explode. Now, uh, to fix that, I'm going to have to apply some armor. I'm thinking... Uh, mirror mode on. I'm thinking we're going to cover our sides first. Yeah, two of those. Then a tall wedge. Tall wedge. Uh, can I get another tall wedge here with a solid plate there? Now... I could put a, just a straight piece of metal in here, which would be perfectly viable. Uh, my other option is straight armor plate uh, is 4,000 hit points and weighs three tons. Also has a penetration resist of six meters. A point defense uh, has a weight of one ton with 3,000 hit points and a point uh, penetration resist of minus two meters. So it's got less penetration resist, but it shoots back. So I'm going to put those there. 
Uh, yes, uh, we're also going to put in a wedge here because I do want to protect them. I do want to make sure that we don't have any shots coming down here and, and, and ripping up the engines or the point defense, etc. We do have the shield to cover the front engines and our zappy zaps, but um, that side could be an issue. Okay, uh, down here, we're obviously going to need some shields with some tiny little wedges. Uh, tiny wedges, bigger wedges, bigger wedges. Let's go with bigger wedges. Okay, uh, and then across the rear, uh, in hopes that I don't get shot at, we're going to put in point defense. Just point defense. I'm not going to actually bother with... I want you guys to come in this way to ch to, 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 to put batteries in that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put point defense on the count of it's almost as good and at least it shoots back if I'm running away from battle. Well, that's going to be our ship, I think. Um, double check the doors. So those doors are there. Those doors are there. That's a fire extinguisher door. That is the airlock door. You have a door. Um, actually, I'm going to give you a spare door because why the hell not? Like, if this place uh, lights on fire, it's going to go boom. Um, the chance that we actually get the fire out is pretty slim. Uh, do I want a door here? Well, you know what? Oh, screw it. We're, we're really at the point. Let's just throw doors at the problem and hope it goes away. All right, uh, we're going to make that so, and we're going to build that, well, out in the middle of space because, oh, actually, you know what, you know what, sure, throw doors all the way through it, yeah, sure, sure, literally a flying bomb, uh, we're going to build that out in the middle of space because, well, I uh, actually, no, we're, we're beside the station, never mind, uh, but I need to man it with some crew, now, it took a max of how much? Uh, unnamed ship, uh, 18 crew. So I'm going to send all 18 crew across. Uh, at the same time, we're going to have a chat to the station and I'm going to hire in 39, which now means you are up to 113 out of 114. We've almost, almost maxed out the crew assignment. Uh, can I have the crew arrive faster? Hey, we have crew. All right, uh, so this little baby ship, this little baby ship, we're going to have to set up some 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 logistics because let's face it, we only have 18 crew to keep this baby running. Okay, uh, this crew, no, hang on. Let's start at the front. So I want you to work, no, hang on. Let's go with this side. Okay, I want this reactor to charge that, 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 and that everything uh i want the uh accumulators uh to just run or, or the accumulators there capacitors i want the capacitors just to run the two lasers and the shield so the idea is that the reactor can feed them directly plus they can get boosted by these two capacitors on top of that crew wise i want to have this crew deal with that capacitor and this crew deal with that capacitor they are right beside the capacitor in fact actually we might just flip them around that way they can exit their bunk and straight there to there yes it's it's going to be very very minor optimizations but every optimization will count okay so we're going to do that and that okay uh that leaves me well a couple of crew left over okay i need to actually i don't need to assign anybody to that because it's going to run no matter what um I have, so I need two, four, five crew. All right, we're going to take the bunk of six. Uh, we're going to assign it to there, there. <laughs> no, actually, we're going to take you, because you're in a horrible position, and you, because you're in a horrible position, and assign those two to there and those two to there. That way, they're going to be in charge of running, well, both of these guys, no matter what. Uh, which means a random crew member is going to run... The cockpit, but generally, because the cockpit, edit roll, job priorities, is set to 10, then whoever gets in the cockpit, which I believe is the guy out of this bunk, is just going to stay there. They're never going to leave. And in theory, that's a little baby ship set up and running. Uh, we want to set you to staggered fire. I Sure, fire at all. Uh, and we need to give you some sort of name. Please, in the comments. Give me a name. Give me a name. Give me a good name. Give me a good name because Zap Zap Strike is a horrible name. Okay, I'm going to set you up as control group number three. Uh, we are going to give you a quick paint job in that. And in saying that, it's going to be pitch black. Pitch black. Pitch black. Black. Yes. Uh, like a death. I don't know. Death Cobra. Death. Death something. It's going to be black. You're not going to see it till it's up in your face because I'm hoping this is fast. 
Uh, let's spin it, aim it towards something. Uh, let's set those for control group one. And it is 50, 60, 70, 80, oh, 78.4. And then we hit the boost. At which point it bolts up to 112. It'd be a fast boy, a very fast boy. Now I could probably speed it up if I pulled off some of the armor. Um, because it's all about mass to weight ratio. And uh, this is uh, about as little mass as I could add. Actually, hang on. Let's go spin. I'm hoping for super agile. Okay. And then if I hit that. And... Basically make you stop on the spot. That's what I'm looking for. Right, how far... So far that you actually slide past it. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, can we set flight direction to be full on reverse and set you to fly over there? Holy crap, we're doing 60 backwards. Oh, because it's the exact same type of engine. Yeah, we're doing 78 backward. Okay, and if I tell you to go to that one, and then stop. I want to see how well we stop. Because there is a chance I could shrink these engines down. I don't know how much mass that would save us. I don't know how much that would affect our speed. Well, our, our forward speed. It would also technically affect our backward speed. But... I didn't see them go up to full speed. Okay. Thrust. Uh... Oh, we've also got one command point. Uh, okay, so that is 3,200. That's 1,200. So we go from 6,400 kilonewtons of stopping power down to 2,400. Okay, something to keep in mind that possibly... No, I'm curious. Okay, uh, let's just change that up and that. And then pick up all of that on both sides. Cut. Paste. Make it so we get a tidy little refund. Uh, that one. That one. Uh, you need to apply to that and that. And crew. Uh, you need to apply back to there. And we need you to harvest the goods from outer space. And is crew on board? Crew is on board. Okay, curiosity. If we now fly across the galaxy. 70. It's a little bit faster. And if we boost. 113. Okay, if we cancel. Oh, that stopping power is um, going to hell. Okay, if we tell it to go there. And yeah, we're having these are still hyperdrive that we need the power to drain out of them, uh, and then they behave properly. There you go, they're down discharged, they need to recharge again. Um, I'm curious what the stopping is like. Yeah, it's it's almost 80 meters per second. I don't know whether you can actually get this ship up to 80 meters without, per second without bigger, bigger rear engines, a lot bigger. And we, I don't think we actually need bigger rear engines. Yeah, they fire a lot to slow us down. It's a possibility. Okay. Uh, for the moment, because it's been completely untested so far, uh, I actually technically... We're, we're, we're now, I'm now talking about chopping off uh, individuals. Uh, sorry. Uh, individual um, corridors and stuff. Uh, let's go with the large thrusters as I had, uh, which went there. There. Uh, yeah, technically with the cutting and pasting... Could have been even a little bit lighter. Okay. Uh, with that done, we're going to throw you guys that are assigned to there and um, that one. Power is assigned to both of those again magically. And you can grab all the resources outside. And yes, we have our little zap zap strike craft. Okay. With that done, uh, we're full on crew, right? 
Yep, 113 crew out of 114 beds, which means after the next uh, mission, I am going to have to, I have no choice, I'm going to have to do something about, um, well, uh, upgrading the truck at cruiser to have more crew, or... Yeah, probably that. Probably that. Okay, can you guys get back on the hull, please? We, I want to go off and explore. I want to go off and explore that. Uh, so we're going to send you off. I'm going to send you to follow. And we're going to send you at a distance. And you can just follow sideways. Okay, no need to show off. No need to show off. All right, now the plan for the strike craft. It's a fairly simple plan. Uh, it should be fast and nimble and should be able to get around behind things. We have a basic shield. We have some very basic point defense that I'm not going to put on offensive. Oh, actually. Okay, we're going to select the point defense and set it for control two in, ch in case I change my mind. Because I might well change my mind. Uh, its plan is to get in and harass. Literally get in and harass people. Uh, I don't want to do a pack just yet. Uh, but we might. Its job is to get in and harass people. Um, really, really harass people. Swing around the back. Shoot people in the ass. Um, take out vital things. Uh, catch people that are running away. That sort of stuff. As we can see from you know the preview. It's doing an alright job of um, staying fully powered, and I could probably boost half the way down here whilst leaving the other guys miles behind. Also, hopefully, we can tempt others into a fight and then bugger off before they actually get a shot off and then bring these guys along. The catch is I can't see railguns. So if I find a railgun the hard way, that, oh, like that, that, that they're rockets. They're rockets. Uh, I can't see them. They're, they're outside of sensor range. Uh, good news is they missed. Well, bad news is lasers in the ass and more rockets. Uh, that is lots and lots of lasers. Uh, plus also just some disruptor cannons, some flak, so on and so forth. And our hope is to run and not lose our very first fight. Uh, we hit the boost button and get the hell out of there. Okay, that got taken out. That did not which leaves us with one engine. One engine was not a good idea. Okay, you need support. You need a lot of support. Yep. Might have been a mistake. Might have been a mistake. Might have definitely been a mistake. Definitely been a mistake. Everything is shut down. All right, cruiser. Okay, you're just shut down. You are out of the fight. But we have a cruiser, which should be able to... Ah, it's going to have to deal with some flak. Uh, should be able to give that a hard time. And we have the Gravitron, which has rockets in the ass. Rockets in the ass, we're going to aim for... Let's go with there. Because we have those um, disruptor rockets, we should... The EMP rockets, we should be able to hopefully take out his shields, which is exactly what he's firing at us. Uh, you need to move faster. And uh, side number three, offensive, please. Okay. And you can come in close and personal. You know what? We're just going to target and charge. Uh, cool. And number one can shoot. Oh, there's, there's a large reactor core right in the middle. Okay. And point defense is now set to offensive. So they should just shoot everything. You should be get grabbed by a tractor beam as well and get dragged away from our ship. Uh, truck it. Truck it. Truck it. Truck it. Just one. Okay. Uh, Alright. So, zap zap. Uh, can you move? You can. There is no way you can afford those repairs because you left your waste everywhere. Uh, you're going to pop over here. Alright. Meanwhile, you can move forward. Your repair cost is... Looks fairly expensive, but look in the grand scheme of things, considering what we carry on board, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, so we're going to repair that. Being whilst there are rockets literally circling around to make sure that the dead the dead carcass is dead. Uh, can you just rotate? And you took not a single ounce of damage. All right. Uh, I want to not scrap steel, and we're going to salvage that. Uh, you are getting here slowly with one engine. 
Oh, we're also running at one quarter speed. Okay, uh, as for the crew, all 18 survived. So that's a very good thing, considering, um, well, there's a whole engine missing. Um, and whoever lives in this crew quarters is never going back to bed. Uh, at least not till they get home. And, nope, still kind of full repair. Up oh, there we go. We're in range of the cruiser. Okay, now you're fully repaired. And the cruiser can pick up everything. And zap zap, you can help. Uh, you don't have any storage, which is fine. That's half the plan. Uh, you guys will just get overboard and break stuff down. All right, uh, we're going to clean this up, uh, this mess, and then I guess I'll see you with the next volley. The next volley, uh, the next victim, and hopefully we can make our strike, strike craft maybe not charge in full guns a blazing, so to speak, because I don't think we fired a single shot. But it looked intimidating for half a second. So much more controlled heading into combat. We have good old Zap Zap Strike on the rocket side of the carrier. We also have the Grabatron right there, ready to go. Uh, all grabbied up. Yep, on, on fire at will for the grabbies. Unfortunately, it's a renegade pack. So it's at least two ships. Um, in fact, oh, it's five ships. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, and they're going to be all wandering around here probably together. Oh, let's try to. Uh, we'll pick up that on the way up. And there they are. Oh my god. Uh, that's a whole separate question. Okay. Uh, crap. I don't want to go close to that. I, I Realistically, I'd like to go through here, but um, that's going to be an issue. Uh, okay. So, rockets fire on both sides. This, this is an important thing to remember. Alright, so we're going to take the strike craft and keep it close. Grabatron's going to be on this side. We might actually move it in a little bit closer. Uh, yeah, because now the rockets have to go around. So the range... Can I do that? The range, as we can see, is much further on this side than it is on this side. So it's something I need to keep in mind. Uh, you can move there. You can move there. You can move in nice and close. And, okay, what do we have? So we have a little laser guy, which is going to be annoying. Um, and in theory, if I can hit that with a rocket, you're dead. Uh, we have, oh, look, it, it's a zap zap. Um, it's a little zap zap. We have a cannon guy that we've dealt with, a cannon guy that we've dealt with. All right, so our plan is going to be quite simple. We're going to have the Gravitron, a rocket system, uh, aim at that, because that's a threat. I'd like that to go away. Uh, as for the Gravitron itself... I don't honestly care. Um, we're going to have you face that way. That way, at least you're facing targets. Uh, can I grab that one? Yep. Yeah. Uh, one, you're on auto fire. Uh, you're on auto grab. You have been given a target. You have your rockets, which are on auto fire as well. And we're going to play with the zap zap. Uh, you, uh, what's that? That's a rocket launcher with flat cannons. Okay. We have a target. We're going to try and get around the back of this. Uh, it has rockets, which are probably, possibly going to be aimed at the Zap Zap. Uh, but my hope is that by hitting boost, we can get in here behind this and shoot at that. Okay. Grabatron has, well, accidentally killed something. Uh, and something else, and something else. Uh, and by the time Zap Zap gets there, the party might be over. Uh, can we get the Grabatron to just aim that way? Uh, zap Zap is trying to get there. Trying to get there. There are rockets everywhere. Okay, well, we took out a set of engines. Uh, can we go engine, engine, engine then? <sighs> okay. Just, just manual control. Face that then. All right, our zap zap is definitely getting in there and doing some damage. Uh, maybe needs to be told to get a little bit closer. Oh, I think you're dead. Uh, you're in a really bad position, actually. Can I get you to go away? You have rockets point blank. Uh, you're also... Are you dead? You can be dead. Okay, zap zap. Uh, oh, you copped a rocket point blank. Um, just go shoot that. Just right there. Yep. 
and Gravitron rockets right there, and you are one shell away from dead. Okay, that solves that problem. Yeah, and that problem, and we're all good. Okay, uh, so that was chaos. All right, so Gravitron took uh, 800. 800 steel worth of damage. Uh, oh, just another rocket in the ass. Okay. Uh, the cruiser, zero. Uh, I love that. And Zap Zap, zero, surprisingly. Um, in the thick of it, having a ball, no damage whatsoever. Uh, so we just need to clean up. Uh, and I'm out of time. I'm out of time. I'm out of time. I'm out of time for this episode, but we do have a third. Whoa. You stay over there. We do have a third strike craft now, uh, which is going to make life very interesting. Uh, I guess I have to turn off steel if I want everybody to help. Uh, no. Um, <sighs> that's a pirate. Okay. You. Turn off steel. Yeah. Grab everything. You and you uh, enable, oh, enable all and grab everything else. Sure. And there's other stuff here that's not being grabbed for I don't know what reason. Uh, zab Zab Strike, 12 on EVA with a crew of 18. It's not problematic at all. All right, um, I'm going to call this episode here. It's been a blast. It's been fun. Uh, don't forget, Blueprints for Zap Zap will be obviously pinned on... Well, in the first comment below, uh, you'll find the Twitter post uh, for the announcement of this particular video. In there, you'll also find the blueprint for Zap Zap Strike. Please give me a better name. I don't think I can keep saying Zap Zap Strike over and over and over. But this is where we're going to end this particular episode. So as always, do hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.